Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host Shikama. Because I don't have the luxury of really being on TV, and because America now has the attention span of a fly, fruit fly to be exact, I have to make these very short videos. So this video is an introductory video to another series that I would like to put together. If I do not get enough likes or views, I will not do the series. I'm going to talk about the NWO, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers. And this particular video is the introduction to that series. I want to put in perspective a little bit about the whole conspiracy that there are people at the very top, the rich insanely rich people at the very top who want to control the world and when I say I want to put it into perspective it's my position that there are a lot of people in that situation being insanely rich or what have you that literally are not intending to do anything first of all let me tell you about myself and my my corporation so I have a corporation. If I get sued, am I going to go to court and argue with the judge and the other lawyer and all that sort of stuff? No. I'm going to retain a lawyer, an attorney, and that attorney is going to go to court and he's going to argue in my favor, right? In fact, th there may come a day that I am so busy and so powerful and so big, quote unquote big, that I won't even know when somebody is suing me, right? Right, you, you understand that, right? In that per person's, from their perspective, I'm evil. I am so big that I don't even have the time to come and uh, see them face to face. There's nothing that I could do in court to help that person out. There's nothing that I could do to alleviate the situation because by law, I'm not even allowed to do that. Especially if I want to retain my corporation. And what does the corporation do for me? The corporation says, I am running a business. The business is cons completely separate from Shikama. So let's put this on the people, I, I, I'm saying that there are some innocent people who are ridiculously wealthy. And they might actually still go to all of the clubs and parties and meetings that the other people go to, but they're not really intending to hurt anybody. And here is the perspective that I want to give. I want you to think of a great whale. A great whale. The whale eats plankton all it does is it opens its mouth and it just literally inhales thousands of plankton now those it knows what it's doing it's opening its mouth it knows that plankton are there it knows that the plankton are coming in and it eats the plankton and hopefully that there's no whale uh vegans or vegetarians saying you shouldn't eat meat meat is murder anyway so the whale eats that was a joke. I, I think it's retarded that uh, we have vegetarians and vegetarians and vegans telling other regular humans that they should not eat animals. How ridiculous would it be for a whale, vegetarian or vegan, to tell another whale you shouldn't eat meat? It'd be pretty stupid, wouldn't it? It would look retarded. Only humans do that. The whale is directly, knowingly doing something, right? It's opening its mouth eating the plankton, plankton is coming in, it's eating the plankton. That's not the perspective that I want you to look at. Now that's the perspective that all the conspiracy theorists want you to look at. They want you to say, oh look at this giant whale, he's opening his mouth and he's consuming everybody. He knows full well that plankton are coming into his mouth and that's his purpose, right? That's the perspective of the conspiracy theorist. I want you to look at the tail of the whale. While he is eating the plankton, he's 
splashing his tail around and moving his tail around and battering his tail around to be able to swim in the water, right? I want you to think of the smaller things in the water that he kills with his tail unwittingly. He doesn't even know that they're there. He doesn't even, he did, not only does he not know, he doesn't even care that they're there. And he is just murdering these tiny, tiny things. That's the perspective that I want you to see. I want, to, I want you to focus on the tail. I'm talking about the tail people. I'm not talking about the plankton people. I'm talking about the tail people. So we are the tail people. And there's people who invented the sewing machine. The blender, uh, the light switch, the vacuum, Xerox. There's people and they sit in New England and they have billions of dollars. They don't actually open up their mouth and eat plankton. They just exist. Huh? They're worth billions. They have private jets. They have several houses. Uh, their children don't work. In fact, the entire lifestyle is that they sort of sit around and do nothing or do what they want. These are the tail people. Some of them don't aren't CEOs. They they don't even go. They don't even go check on their company at all. They might own a majority share, but they don't actually participate in the company. If something goes wrong, they'll step in, take over, kick anybody out who's doing what they consider wrong, and they'll take charge. Then they'll become the plankton people. But in the meantime, they're the tailed people. They just sit in their castles and mansions and what have you, and they just live. And if you're crushed by the tail, that just happens. Are they going to Washington? No, they're not going to Washington. Their CEO is going to Washington. Their, the agent for the corporation is going to Washington. The lobbyist is going to Washington. So if we really want to put the blame on somebody, we're going to blame the lobbyist. Or maybe the CEO. That's the person who's crushing you. That's the person who says, we don't want any more competition in this market. Pass a law that says you need to pay a million dollars to get certified to be in this business. And that million dollars, that erases thousands of people who can't get in that business. That's the lobbyist. That's the CEO. That's the agent for the corporation. Those are the people who do that. The guy who sits in his castle somewhere and just money just comes rolling in. He goes and plays tennis with his kids. His kids live in, the, in, in one of the houses and he, they get married and they have children and they live in the castle. Those are the tail people. And these are the people that you don't see. You don't actually see these people. These are, these are not the Rockefellers. These are not the JP Morgans. These are not the Rothschilds. Those people come out and, and, and show you that they're the boogeyman, right? I'm talking about the people who sit there and pay a million dollars in taxes. A mil Imagine that for a second. A million dollars in taxes. You have the tail people and you have the, t the plankton people. The conspiracy is for the plankton people. But the plankton people really cannot be successful without the tail people sitting there and doing nothing. So if you want to get the plankton people to stop, you're going to have to contact the tail people. I'm going to put this entire conspiracy of world domination into perspective. And I'm sorry, f uh, if I say white people in this series, I'm talking about the thousands and millions of people who actually are in cahoots with the plankton people. Yes, there are people who adhere to a doctrine, adhere to a notion, adhere to a thought that says, yes, that sounds great. Does that mean we're going to 
Have a better life here? That sounds fantastic. Go ahead and kill a million black people. I don't care. You know, I know in, in, in the United States, people want to want to sit and act like they actually like, care about something, but they, they really don't. They want to have a better life for themselves. Now, I, I'm here to tell you that the plankton people and the tail people are going to do things that's against all of the little peons around the tail. And we're all the little peons around the tail, right? We all get squashed by the tail, right? Crushed, just destroyed, entire family lines destroyed. And some of us, if the politician comes to us and says, hey, do you want to pay a dollar less for chicken at the store, at the grocery store? How many would say no? They would also, yeah, sign me up for that. Okay, we're going to go murder a million Africans. And you're going to get a dollar off of chicken. How many of them would you think would stand up and say, no, I'm, a, I'm out of this group. I bet you're not even one. But they don't say, I'm going to murder a million Africans. And, and then we're going to give you a dollar off of chicken in the store. They don't come out and say that. They come out and say stuff like, Gaddafi's evil to his people. Gaddafi is terrible to his people. He's committed atrocities. He's a despot. He's a fascist. And everybody raises their hand and says, Oh, you're right. He's terrible. Okay, let's, let's go ahead. Gaddafi's evil. You're right. I believe it. And even when somebody who likes me and says, Gaddafi's not evil, he gives out zero percent interest loans to all of his people anybody who asked in fact he doesn't kill anybody in his country he's not a despot he's not a fascist and in fact they hold elections every so often every few years they hold a regular elections and he gets elected why because his people love him he drives around the streets in an open car sitting on the back of the uh, of the convertible uh, shaking hands as he passes by people throwing roses at him but nobody wants to hear that they want to hear you're going to get a dollar of chicken we're going to go murder a million Africans are you with me? and everybody raises their hand in tears yes we're with you that's the plankton people talking to you the tail people simply happen to be funding them do you want to hear all of these conspiracies bust wide open if yes, leave a comment, click the thumbs up video, otherwise I can't do these series. Thank you for watching the Shkemalive Show.